The top story today, French President Emmanuel Macron addresses a joint meeting of Congress the day after attending a state dinner at the White House. On Tuesday, Macron urged President Trump to keep U.S. troops in Syria and stay in the Iran nuclear deal. The 2015 pact lifts economic sanctions in exchange for Tehran limiting its nuclear ambitions. And it's still unclear whether President Trump's pick to head the Department of Veterans Affairs will withdraw his nomination. Dr. Ronnie Jackson, the president's personal physician, faces serious questions about his ability to lead the department amid allegations of inappropriate workplace behavior. Jackson is denying the allegations and President Trump is standing behind him. Montana Senator John Tester provided more details on the accusations against Jackson when he spoke with CNN last night. Admiral Jackson was the primary health care provider for the president. And uh, if you're drunk uh, and something happens with the president, uh, it's very difficult to go in and, and treat the president how it needs to be done. So this is totally unacceptable under this environment. And that's what pe multiple people told us this was the case on several different trips. Do you know under what circumstances he was drinking? I mean, it was a social occasion? I, I, I believe they were social. Um, um, so you know, there were, there, were, there, were ta there were comments about him being in the, the, the hotel room. Uh, and couldn't respond because he had been drinking so much. Also new this morning, the man accused of shooting two Dallas police officers and a civilian near a Home Depot is in custody. Authorities in the city arrested 29-year-old Armando Juarez Tuesday night following a high-speed chase. Police located him in a white truck they believe he fled in after the shootings. On to Crime Watch, the body found floating in the Yellowstone River over the weekend is now considered a homicide. Yellowstone County Sheriff Mike Linder says the victim is 42-year-old Harriet Wilson of Billings. Although there were no obvious signs of foul play, Linder says detectives considered the death suspicious. Wilson's body was found Sunday afternoon near Two Moon Park. No other details are being released. Meanwhile, a woman who led police Police deputies and highway patrol officers on an early morning chase from Laurel to Billings is behind bars this morning, facing several charges. 32-year-old Leona Holiday was cited for criminal endangerment, possession of dangerous drugs, and expired registration. The pursuit ended Tuesday morning when police say she crashed into the lock gates of Zoo Montana. Holiday tried to run but was quickly apprehended. Officers recovered a pistol and drugs from the Chevy Trailblazer. On the campaign trail, representatives with the Green and Democratic Party found themselves in a courtroom trying to determine if the Green Party should stay on the ballot. Both parties presented witnesses and evidence in Helena on Tuesday. The Green Party qualified for the ballot last month based on voter signatures submitted on petitions. The Democratic Party says it has identified signatures that should not have been counted. And if those signatures are not allowed, the Green Party will not have enough to be certified. Several Green Party candidates have filed to run for statewide and local offices. A Democratic Party data analyst testified that a number of accepted signatures do not not coincide with signatures on the Secretary of State's voter file. But Green Party U.S. Senate candidate Steve Kelly told MTN News voters should not be denied additional choices. It is cases where um, the um, signature on the petition is illegible, whereas the signature in the voter file is clearly articulated or vice versa. Don't suppress the vote. Let the people decide. A lot of this is uh, political but it's starting to edge into people's fundamental rights to associate with a party that's just getting started. And, uh, you know, if we become a problem down the road for the Democrats, well, that's just too bad. The hearing will continue next Monday before State Judge, State District Judge Kathy Seeley of Helena. Former Trump aide and National Security Advisor General Michael Flynn will be in Billings Sunday, May 6. He'll campaign for Montana Republican Senate, Senate candidate Troy Downing. The event is open to the public and free. However, an RSVP is still required. VIP admission is also available, which includes a picture with General Flynn for $500. Supporters of the Bighorn Lake and Bighorn River came together under one roof to discuss their differences over managing the two waterways. Friends of Bighorn Lake's mission is to build on the recreational, economic, and environmental opportunities of the lake. But its concern is the lack of flow allowed out of the Yellowtail Dam. The group's opposite, the Bighorn River Alliance, wants less water on its banks as it thrives on the fishing economy with many living along the river. The two sides have lost trust in recent months and both agree a path for reconciliation will be tough. 
We feel like we have been harmed and we've not asked for further remedy. Just follow the originating documents. Just finish the development, that includes the road, and operate the dam so that the lake is full enough, not clear full, but full enough to launch a boat from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Both sides are going to have to compromise a little bit on the you know, what they're, what they're willing to accept in certain water conditions, you know, in terms of snowpack. You know, uh, when it's high snowpack years, that means that the lake elevations are going to be lower in the spring and you can't launch boats at the south end of the lake by Memorial Day. But on, on the other hand, when it's dry and you have dry period, and certainly those will come again, we know that we're going to suffer in the river, but with very low flows, that will hurt the fishery. We've just got to, both sides have to be willing to compromise on, on some of those important issues depending on the water years. It's pretty much that simple. The Bureau of Reclamation and National Park Service is working on updating its operating criteria, which was created a decade ago. That effort is expected to be finished by the end of this year, but it's not clear who will benefit the most from the new rules. Turning to consumer news, Billings City firefighters are teaming up with a local company to test out a new innovation that detects toxic plumes. The LRX system by Diamond B Technology Solutions allows first responders to see where toxic plumes are moving moving before they respond to a fire or hazmat situation. It uses available real-time weather data to create 3D plume maps, which show potential exposure levels on mobile devices. The technology was originally invented on the battlefields of Iraq. Other possible markets for LRX include the oil and gas industry, railroads, and others who are seeking to monitor toxic plumes in advance. So what a firefighter could do is they could get in their truck with their tablet mm -hmm. and they could uh, set an incident location and what it will do is it will find the closest available weather sensor, mm -hmm. use that data to then model the wind and the, uh, and the plume map. There is a high potential for industrial applications. We would love to work with the CHS's, Philips 66, and the Exxon's of the world. Uh, we feel that we could uh, get a lot of great information available out to uh, first responders in the community a lot quicker if we had uh, permanent in installations of, of the application within uh, their facilities. Billings Fire Chief Bill Rash says the City Council has approved the use of the system. Our last story this Wednesday, as the Montana Women's Run draws near, so are the deadlines. The first deadline strikes at 11.59 tonight. You need to get online and get signed up before the end of the day to guarantee your Women's Run t-shirt before race day. The 37th Montana Women's Run will once again bring thousands of women from across the community, state and country to downtown Billings to celebrate women and their health. The proceeds benefit local women's services and scholarships. You can run, walk, or wheelchair the two or five mile course. This year's Hunter Green Color t-shirts feature the design Bringing May Flowers. So head to womensrun.org. Race day is Saturday, May 12th.